I'm Joe Tech from JoeTech.com. I'm bringing another review video to you. And this one's actually not a gadget, but it helps you maintain your gadgets. It's called Surface. Uh, what it does is it helps you maintain the surface of your products by getting rid of all those fingerprints and dust and stuff like that. Uh, packaging's kind of neat. Looks a little futuristic, as does the logo on the front. Um, top pops off and you just have your little sprayer at the top and we'll just set that aside and the bottom also pops off and the bottom is where you keep this handy little cloth this is their microfiber cloth just set that aside too this is the microfiber cloth that they send you and that's just for uh, cleaning all your devices now the way it works, according to the instructions, which are printed in very tiny print at the bottom, uh, at the back of the bottle here, because you always lose them, so now they're right on the bottle. Um, you just two to three sprays on the cloth, and then you wipe it on whatever the surface is. So I'm going to start out with my glasses. Like I said, they're filthy. I don't know if you can see that, but we're we're just going to clean them off. I have new ones on the way, so. These will at least get clean in the meantime. So two to three. Let us start out with two and see how that works. I'm going to use it on both sides. And two feels like enough. I don't think I need three for this project. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's crystal clear. It's a huge pet peeve of mine dirty glasses so it's much better the next thing I'm going to do and I'll just put one more spritz on here just to get started with the next one I have this uh, my old phone just have it lying around collecting dust so I actually took a picture I don't know if you can see any better in the picture or in, in the video but uh, there's a little bit of dust on it a little bit just a uh, fingerprints and smudges on the screen so what I'm going to do is just um, you know, I already sprayed it just give it a little wipe I feel like the ShamWow guy you following me camera guy? you seeing this? alright so after a couple wipes cleaner screen I just went over it real quickly um, I want to keep this video short so I'm going to move on to the next thing so Next is my iPhone, which I pers purposefully smudged up um, just for this. I try and keep it clean, but if you own an iPhone, you know it smudges up pretty easily. So it um, wasn't hard to get a little bit dirty for this. So I don't know if you can see in the video at all. Try and move it around. It's got a little bit of smudges on there. Turn it on a little, see if it helps at all, helps you see anything. Um, probably not. It's actually probably a little harder, so I'll just turn that back off. So I'll just give this a couple of passes. And at first it looks like it's going to streak, but then it dries up nicely, so... Let's see if I got it clean enough. A little, another little wipe right there. I guess I got it real dirty for you. All right, nice and clean. So, products so far seeming to do what it says. I'm gonna try a few more things here. I have a phone uh, from a phone company that they sent me to review. So, um, haven't put this review up yet, but I will. And in the meantime, I've got it sitting around here while I'm testing other stuff, and I've got a little dust, a lot of dust on it. So, we're just gonna clean that off. And on this phone is a lens. you have to watch for that later and I'll tell you what it does. I'm not telling you right now. So we're going to clean that too. So we'll start with the surface here. I'll just do another spritz. Oops. Now my foot's clean. Got another spray on the rag on the microfiber cloth. I'll just wipe that off. Might have to get it a couple times to get the corners.
Yeah, it looks a lot cleaner now. It even got a couple of cat hairs that my cats left me. So we got that. Now we've got the lens on the front here, or on the top rather. Oops, push that in. Swipe that. There it goes. Now this thing, like I said, it'll do plastics too. So you got all these new products, new phones and uh, iPhone and iPod Touch and everything else, and you have all these plastics that get smeared up and dirty. You just wipe that down. And like I said, I, I put a, a couple of sprays. I think I have a total of four sprays for all these products on here now. And I might need another one in a minute, but right now it feels like I can still use this. So I have the back of my iPhone. I don't know if you can see any, um, there's smudging and dirt there. Some scratches this won't help for, but give it a little wipe. And it's nice and shiny again. It's a lot less involved than some of the other products. It involves, uh, you know, just following a couple of quick instructions to clean stuff. And really, it's more of a matter of uh, does it give you a, a streak flick? Free, excuse me, streak-free clean, which if you look again at the iPhone, I mean, that's the most reflective surface of anything I have here, and that's what shows the most fingerprints of anything I use, and I use it constantly. So if anything, that's what I'm going to use this product on. And if you can see in the video, I hope you can, and I'll take another photo uh, in a minute here, I, I'm seeing a perfect reflection of myself in this, in this phone, so... I've got no streaks, and it's nice and clean. For the price, uh, I don't remember exactly what it was, but it's not very expensive, and it does a pretty good job of keeping it clean. For what I have been doing, cleaning my glasses with the, the bottom of my shirt, it'll get some dust off. My wife's laughing behind the camera at me. It'll get some dust off, but it's not the right way to clean. And a microfiber cloth is good. I keep one at the office, which helps, but it also helps to have the right product with it and that's uh, so far it seems to be surface so for a 20 fluid ounces seems like it'll go a long way it'll last a long time unless all you do all day is clean products and it seems to do the job that it's intended to do